Okay, so you wanna learn how to code, right? Well, if not, well, I give you nine reasons here why you should learn how to code. And now that you are decided, you wanna learn how to code, where should you start? Which language should you pick? This one, this one, one of those. In this video, I will show you the most common programming languages and you will take a look at each of them and you will choose which one is the best for you to get started. Are you ready? Then, here we go! The first step in choosing a programming language is actually trying them out. You know, there are around 700 programming languages and you can try each one of them and choosing the best one for you. Or, well, let's take a look at the most common programming languages and let's do a simple hello world program, okay? Okay, so let's start. I have a folder here with sample code from many languages. Uh, the C language, JavaScript, Java, uh, Python and WLang. Okay, so let's start here with Java. Java is a very well-known programming language um, that Google chose for, for powering the Android phone. So many of the apps that are built, built for Android are made in Java. Uh, okay, so this is what Java looks like. Well, the first impression is not very good. So it's a lot of stuff here just to print this phrase on the console. So you have to know a bunch of concepts for, from object-oriented programming and a class and all of that stuff. And finally, you print this to the console. Okay, so I, I think that you are thinking, well, programming is hard, I have to study a lot, and it's, well, wait a minute, this is only the first programming language, stay, stay calm. Okay, so the, the first thing you have to do to run this code is to compile it with the Java compiler, and I call the Java C command here to compile this code. And now I can call the Java VM, the Java interpreter here, and run the main code. Okay, and now we have the hello world from Java world. Okay. Well, not great, but not too bad also. Okay, let's try another language. Let's try the C programming language. This is what C looks like. You have to include something, uh, the standard IO library here, and you have to make a function called main, okay. And then you finally write the stuff that you wanna print on the screen and some other weird stuff here. And well, let's that's not too bad, that's a lot better than Java, the, the Java code. Okay, so let's compile this code, we call the GCC compiler, we compile this code, and now we have a.out file that we can execute. Then we execute this code, and we have the hello world from C world. Okay. Not too bad, it's getting better, getting better. Okay, let's try the GS, JavaScript. In JavaScript, oh, this looks a lot better, a lot more promising. You have to use the console.log and the phrase that you wanna show in the screen. Okay, that's understandable, right? Okay, so how can we execute this? We call node and we pass the script that we made and we have the same result. The hello world from JS world 
works. Okay, that's a lot easier. Okay, JavaScript is a, a good language to start. I can understand the, the whole program. Okay, so the next language that we are looking at is Python. Python is a very well-known programming language and it's getting more uh, well-known. Java was the most well-known programming language for beginners in the last years, but now Python is the, the most common programming language for beginners. And this is why to, to print hello world <laughs> from Python, you just write print hello world. That's just the simplest thing you can imagine. And to run this code, you call the Python interpreter and call python.py, the script we just made. And we have the same result. So instead of writing this much code and understand a bunch of concepts here in Python, we just write this and we have the same effect. So this looks very promising and very easy to understand. This is the best one uh, till now. So let's take a look at wlang. Oh, wlang is exactly the same as Python. So very easy to print the hello world. You just write print hello world and to execute you call the wlang and execute the script okay you have the same result but actually this wlang is not publicly available yet a very smart person built this language but it's not already it's not ready for public availability okay <laughs> so um, I think that in your mind you are saying oh I want to know how to learn Python it's so simple I can do many things and yes you're right um, the hello world is simple but it's not only the hello world that is simple uh, the more complex you go Python is still the easiest language to understand. And this is why uh, I suggest that you start learning with Python. Okay, so JS is a good language for developing websites and you can also develop applications for your smartphone and it's a great tool it's easy but it's not that easy for beginners because if you type something wrong like you're trying to add different types together you might get surprising results and the the program may not crash and it will give you some result and the at the end of your program you won't know what is wrong with the code you wrote. So in Python, that's easier. It gives you an error or a message and it's easier for you to understand what's going on, what's your error. And it's uh, the best way, in my opinion, to learn a programming language. And then you can, after you learn Python, then you can learn many other languages that they will be much easier to understand because you will understand many of the concepts and programming in a general way is almost the same. If I uh, look at this Java code, I know what a class means. I know that this is a method or something. Well, I have to learn what public means, but maybe it uh, means that everyone can access this. 
Well, void, I have to know what's void, but it's a type. Okay, I can, I can understand this code, you know, even if uh, it's the first time I'm seeing this and I came from Python, you know, I know what this means. I know this uh, system.out means, okay, that's something I have to print. Print is the same uh, function that we have in Python. So you can easily understand this if you have uh, uh, previous knowledge in other languages. So it's easier to understand Python in the beginning and after you know that it's much easier to pick up another language. So you can learn Java in a day, for example. Okay, so that's my suggestion that we start Python, we learn and then we can start making our decisions to what language should we then learn to make our own things. Okay, I hope that this video gives you an idea of how programming languages look like and now you can make your decision and follow a north to improve your skills. If you find this video useful, please hit the subscribe and like button and I will see you in the next videos. Bye bye!